All right, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the coating space mat, which you see right here. This one I made years ago with a T1250, uh, I think it's Texas Instrument. And you can see it's longer than the other uh, semiconductor calculator. It's about, you don't know, a quarter of an inch longer there. Okay, this one's just a dummy one. It doesn't do anything. I didn't wire it up. I could have, but I just didn't. Um, so this one is from Rich Grosso. He actually sold it to me, and it comes with uh, buttons that you can actually push that go under that that this glow, glues onto, and it has wires. So that's pretty cool that you can use that too. But I, what I wanted to talk about in this video is if you got one of these uh, calculators, and if you want to wire it up to the tone generator by itself, you can do that. I was talking. Uh, I, I, I actually tried to hook this up years ago and I was you could see where I marked I was only able to get some of them to work I don't know why I don't remember what I did wrong I couldn't get them all to work and I, I talked to Scott Dunbar about it because he has the same calculator and he actually told me exactly how, what you gotta do so I'm just gonna explain that to you guys what he told me so he pretty much basically said You're gonna take the first nine legs here, because there's little wires that I you cut here. The first nine legs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's your ground in. So you can take a ground source from the battery or wherever, from the chassis of the car, wherever. You get your ground and you plug it in right here, and then these are your output grounds, and this is what you're gonna run to your tone generator in your voice box which is Jupiter, it'd be the, the right here, it'd be these three legs. And if you get one from somebody else, it, you know, it's going to be the same thing, like uh, there's going to be a connection to it, and you're just going to run them to that. But what I wanted to talk about also is, I found out when I was testing it with a little LED light, as you could probably wire all these up and have one out to uh, your tone generator and have one tone. I think ID Geniali, he makes a tone generator that actually, um, when you when you get a negative ground to it, each time you push it, it's, it sounds a little different. But I think some, like Jupiter's, he has three tones to it, but you have to wire them separately. So you could actually do this with this one. This one actually has four of them, as you can see. So And it's kind of weird how it hooks up. I actually was testing it out, and I, I did this funky little uh, diagram of what... So I, I pretty much label this, this leg one, this leg two, this leg three, and this leg four. And you can see I, I put it here, one, two, three, four. And then I went around and I connected a ground to that to see, I put ground in and then I had uh, just one ground out to my lead to see which buttons actually it triggered. And it was really weird because... Uh, as you can see here, I have one, one, one. So when you push um, one here, th these buttons, it'll go off that first number one leg on the back side, which is this one All right here. So th there's no, it's a weird sequence of order. So you have uh, the first leg here controls these three, and then it skips down and it controls these four, one, two, three, four right here on the side which would be, so you would have one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. That, that, that controls the first um, input of number one on the back side. And then number two, it has a, a, it's totally different. It's, you got a, a two here, um, a two here, two, 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 two. So, and it says, and so on. So you got the threes, the threes are uh, three, 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 three. It's just really weird in the three down here, and then you have the fours and the fours are one four up at the top on the far left Couple here a couple here a couple here three here, you know, it, it's really weird But I actually need to make a diagram. I'll do this on um, I'll make a diagram on this uh, digital one So you guys can understand it clear because I was just doodling when I was doing this to see what it would do
But again, if you have a tone generator that you can just plug one wire into and it'll be like a different tone, if you want different tones, because they do have different sounding tones, you know, it's not, there's not just one um, beeping tone, there's many different um, types. But like, like I said, there's some manufacturers that make the tones and when you push it, it'll be a different tone every time you push it. But again, uh, uh, Jupiter, his, I think, and I, I haven't bought his standalone tone generator. I've only used the ones in his voice box throughout the year. So I don't, I can't question how, I, I, I do think that his uh, standalone too has, you have to actually plug the wires in. But I'll look on their website and uh, see if I can figure that out. But yeah, that's how you hook it up. And uh, thanks to Scott Dunbar again in UK for explaining me exactly what wire was what. Because I was fiddling with it one day and I got frustrated and I just kind of pushed it off to the side. Because I could only get like half of them to, to work. And I couldn't figure out why the other half weren't. But this is perfect here. Just put the first nine legs to ground. And then these ones are your ground out. It's the last four. And again, you can put them all together and just run it to one tone. Um, one tone generator or you can do one by one if you have one that has four or if it's the voice box one from Jupiter is probably only three so you can uh, tie one together and then have two other ones all right right there I went and I soldered the first pole all the way to number nine. All these were together. I, I did the, leave the legs a little long and what I did is I just bent it over so they kind of connected together because they all need to uh, be connected as one for your ground input and then just solder a wire. I'll put some solder on the, on the end of this wire here and just go ahead and solder it to all of those together like that and then you'll just take your four other wires one for each one again you can wire one wire to all of them if you're going to hook it up just to one tone or you can do one by one and have four switches but that's it for the coating I don't know what else to say about this thing other than yeah that'll make it uh, a ground switch so actually when you push it it'll have a little beep and you could actually hook that up if you want to to something so you can have four it'll run four things because this has four pins so you can literally, but it's kind of weird, you, you, you're going to have to get used to this weird sequence of what does what. If you lay it like this, you'll, you'll have at least, you'll know this is one, two, three, and four. So you could just remember that. But if you just randomly push one of these, you might forget what's what. Because they're all mixed up. It's kind of really weird how they have that working. But yeah, if you do this one, two, three, four, you'll know that's your four here uh, for your ground. Um, whatever you're going to use it for let's say what could you use it for uh, a ground input um we could use it for the beat the tones and you could use it for like smoke release let's say you did a smoke release in your car and, you know you have a windshield wiper motor that you gotta use the ground input so you push it and then you let go and it turns off push it and let go and it turns off so that's perfectly fine to run a tone generator off this or any input that you you put the ground wire to now you don't have to worry about it burning out you're just using ground so um, it's not a big deal if you use it for a switch same thing with rich grosso's that he got that I got uh, I don't know where I put it but his has little buttons the same thing and it's it's not like this but it, it has the cover that it glues onto this cover here and it pretty much has a different set of buttons that go on top and then he can push it the the difference between this one and his is his you have all of the functions of every single button he has a wire for every single one which which is cool um yeah so that's the differences of that so if you only got four inputs well then this is perfect you know if you're going to use it actually use this to as a functional piece and not just you know art and in rich grosso's is even better if you want it um all the functions and uh yeah because i know some people they might want to really have all kinds of different things hooked up I don't know everybody builds their cars a little different uh, some of us just build it and just have everything hooked up and don't uh, just have the electronics hooked up but we don't really hook up anything like you know like a smog or, or, or smoke release or oil 
uh, you know, oil release, you know, the little button that said oil and it would shoot out from the back. Uh, what else could, what else did Kit have? Uh, laser, you know, you can hook it up to a little laser, a license flipper for like my car. I'm actually going to use one of my switches for the license flipper, which is probably going to be uh, on the pod buttons here. Uh, I'm going to put a, a license on there, which I have somewhere over here, a little label that says license. So, yeah, right here. See how it says license plate? So this will be my ground switch, which I'll have to figure out uh, how to. I'll take the box apart of my uh, flipper, little control box, and I'll have to figure out which one tr is the trigger and just disconnect it and run that wire into my pod button, and then it will work when I push it. And I could run it to this too if I wanted to. So, sky's the limit what you can do on these cars, really. I mean, they're just buttons. You can hook them up to whatever you want, you know. So, that's it for this one, guys. Again, thanks for uh, the help, Scott Dunbar in UK, uh, for pointing me out how to do this. And it gives me an opportunity to help out other Knight Rider guys that are stuck on not, how, not knowing how to wire this up. And so now you'll know. And I'll take some time to make you guys a diagram on what button does what with, <laughs> with this calculator. And, um, yeah, I'll do that later. But that's it for this one. This is Jacob, KnightRiderShop.com.